Hey everybody, it's Josh here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a grayscale to color logo hover effect in Divi. So I've done this on a lot of sites to where you have maybe logos for friends or partners or maybe company logos that you wanna to link to. And we're gonna create this effect here where everything's kind of grayed out right now, but when you scroll over them, they go into full color and you'll notice a nice little animation there. We're gonna create that too. So this is the look I'm gonna show you how to create. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, guys, so to start, you'll see that I already have these logos here in four columns in Divi. And what I want to do is add some nice effects, again, where they're grayscale and then you scroll over them, they go into full color. It just gives a nice effect and makes people want to click on those links. To, so to start, what I'm going to do is go into the Visual Builder. And before I do anything, I want to give this a class. And in that class is where we're just going to add a few lines of CSS to give it these nice effects. So the way I'm going to do that is we're just going to mess around with this first one here with the Elegant Themes logo. We're going to go into Advanced and we're going to go to our Class ID and Classes section right here. And we're just going to drop in, we're going to call this Friend Logo. So you can see if I've, I've experimented with this before. We're going to call this Friend Logo as a class. So let's go ahead and save that. Okay, so once that class is on there, I wanna jump over to what I've been doing recently, which is to go into the theme customizer, and we're gonna go into our CSS section where we're gonna be able to see all of these CSS edits live. So check this out. We're gonna go ahead and go in here and make sure I see the logo. Now, what we're gonna do is add our little class. So we called that friend logo. And add that in there. Now let's start off with the grayscale effect. So to do that, we're gonna actually add what's called a filter. And we're gonna give this a grayscale. Now watch this, we're gonna give this a grayscale of 100%. And you'll notice as soon as I put that in there, that Elegant Themes logo went from color to black. So if we take this out, you can see that little pink icon, put it back in, it went to grayscale. Now all we need to do is to add a hover state and we're gonna just add that hover right there. So friend logo, hover. Now all we need to do is bring this grayscale down to 0%. So if I take this down to zero, you'll notice that now when we hover over it, it brings back that color. So easy peasy, that's as easy as it is to add this effect to any element on your Divi site. Now the other thing we might do is, there's not a whole lot of contrast right there, so I'm gonna add an opacity here, and I'm gonna bring that opacity down on the down state. So let's put this at like 0.6, and then what we'll do is obviously when you hover over that opacity is still at 0.6. So here in the hover state, we're gonna add opacity at one, which will bring it back to what it should be. And now it's a little grayed out, but when you hover over it, it's gonna be in color and it's gonna be in full contrast. And there we go. Easy peasy, so it's really, really cool effect. Now let me show you how to add that little transition to where it kind of bumped it up a little bit and we're gonna add a shadow as well. So what I'll do there is we're gonna go into the hover state and we're gonna give this a margin top and let's say negative five pixels, which means when we hover over this, that logo should be bringing, that should, logo should be going up about negative five pixels. And there we go, so that looks nice, but the effect is a little jumpy. So what I'm gonna do is add a transition right here. So we're gonna say transition and let's do like 0.6 seconds. Let's see how that looks. And there we go. So it's just a nice little subtle transition. What this does is this means that any sort of animation or transition that happens on this element, it's going to take 0.6 seconds. So you'll notice that the grayscale to color effect and the margin top will take 0.6 seconds to get to. So it's a really nice little effect. Now, let me show you how to create that shadow. Now, you could go into CSS and you could create your own shadow, but I wanna show you a little trick I've been doing with Divi for a while now. And that is to create an effect with the Visual Builder and then just copy that CSS. So check this out. We're gonna go into our Visual Builder and again, we just wanna create that little shadow that pops up under the logo when you scroll over it. So we're just gonna go into this element and we are gonna go into our box shadow. And we're gonna choose this one right here that has this little shadow under it. So we can adjust this however we want. We're gonna to wanna to make this go down a little further because we just want that shadow to just pop down below there. And let's go ahead and take this in. Yeah, about right there. So that actually, that looks really good right there. We're gonna stick with that. So let's go ahead and save. I did Control S to save. Let's exit the Visual Builder because we're gonna use Inspect Element 
to copy that shadow. So right now that shadow is on the down state. We don't want that, of course. We just want that on the hover. But here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and use inspect element to look at this shadow. And let's go into, let's see, image wrap. And we can see right there that the shadow that I did with the visual builder is right there. So I can turn that off and on. Let's take this and we're gonna drop it into our theme customizer CSS. So now, again, we just want this on the hover state. So we're gonna go to our CSS here and we're gonna just drop this box shadow right into the hover state. So now we can go ahead and publish and that shadow is gonna be there on down and hover state. So all we need to do now is just go back into the visual builder and remove that shadow. But I just wanted to show you that little trick because I do that all the time to where if I wanna do something with CSS, but I really don't want to um, figure it out myself or get into advanced coding, I'll do it in the visual builder. Then I'll just copy that CSS and put it in whatever element I want to. So we're gonna go into that box shadow and remove that. So now it's gonna be removed on the down state, but when we hover over it, Right there, you'll see it goes into full color and that sweet little drop shadow pops up on the bottom. So the last thing we need to do is just to replicate this across these other elements. Now there's some other ways you could do this and I'm gonna to link to an article that shows you how to do it for every element in a row. But to keep this more simple, what we're gonna do is right click and we're gonna copy module styles. Now if you're not familiar with how to do this with the visual builder, it's super handy because now with this copied, I can paste this into these other modules and the same effects will apply. So I can copy, paste those module styles. And what that did, so if I look here, this last logo right here on Monterey Premiere, if I go into advanced, there's no class or ID assigned, but if I copy, or I'm sorry, if I paste that module style, let's look back in there it should show that class, the friend logo, and there it is. So that friend logo is in that class now because I copy and pasted that module style. So that's it guys, let me go ahead and save and we'll bounce out here and we'll just take a final look at this. Now what you'll wanna do with that CSS ideally is take that and put it over to your style sheet, but that's how easy it is to create this little look. It's really just a few lines of CSS and you can have a nice sleek little grayscale to hover over logo section. So I'll give you guys the full code. I'm also gonna add some extensions for other browsers to make sure this looks good, but hopefully this is a nice little tutorial and code snippet that helps you guys make a sweet little logo section. All right, cheers guys.